Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Thursday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I live in the U.S., and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 to show you a fun new project. So hopefully everybody had a great day. I did. I spent 99.9% .9 of my day in the studio prepping for class on Saturday. I do have two spots left, so if anybody who hasn't RSVP'd would like to come, please let me know. You can send me a message, email, text message, instant message, whatever you want. Um, I will be here. Um, besides that, I didn't really do much but prep for class. So hopefully everybody else had a more exciting day than me. I will have to tell you, I found a bug in my craft room, and now every time something brushes up against my leg, I literally freak out. It was not a pretty bug, and um, yeah, so I'm a little petrified every time something touches my leg, and whew, so hopefully nothing happens tonight that I don't jump out of the video because something brushed up against my leg. Anyway, hello Kelly, good evening. If you're just logging on, say hi so I know you're here. I just felt my watch go off, so it was a little bit of a delay getting onto the Facebook, so hopefully it's just now showing up in everybody's news feed. So today's card is a little bit outside of my norm. Um, I usually, I don't know what my style is, but this definitely is a little bit different. And I really, really loved the layout. And I think it has some tremendous, amazing possibilities besides what I did. So I can't wait for you guys to play with this design and come up with something else. I think the gnome dies would be absolutely gorgeous in the center of this card as well. So I'm super excited to show you guys. Good evening, Monique and Valerie. Hello. So I'm going to point you over and we are going to get started. Let me just make sure we are live on my iPad so I can try to um, view comments as we are crafting. Okay, there we go. So this is what I decided to bring in is the Christmas Scotty. It is in the holiday catalog that's going on right now. But the card I, my original card, I used the little Scotty Dog Punch. But I also brought in the me Medium Daisy and then the um, Dragonfly Punch as well. We're going to try to see how these work in the center of the card besides the little Scotty Dog. But I really think any of our dies would look super fun. We're not using the stamp set. I actually just used the die. I did bring in this stamp set. It's called Good Feelings. And I've done this in class, sending sunshine and good feelings your way. This is one of the sentiments I've done in class. But I wanted to use the Hip Hip Hooray. So these are two individual stamps. So you can stamp them in different colors if you want to or right on top of each other. Um, so I thought this was a good Hip Hip Hooray sentiment. So let's bring in the card. So this is the card we're going to be doing tonight. I did use the Hues of Happiness Designer Series paper. Instead of having the flower side, I flipped it over and used the back side just to kind of give it a little bit of a kind of 3D dimension look. Um, and then these mats, I thought, were super fun, and I added the little um, pool party ribbon and bow at the top. So we're going to try it with some of the different punches, but if they don't look right or if they don't turn out, we're going to fall back to the little Scotty dog because I think he is super cute. Okay, so let's start with some measurements. So we have a piece of our um, base, or is it basic white? I literally just lost the name of it. Um, it measures four and a quarter by 11, and I scored it right in half at five and a half. So we're just going to line that up, give this a good crease. There we go. We can set that to the side. I do have a piece of our Hue of Happiness. So the other side is the flowers, and I picked using the opposite side. So this measures four by five and a quarter, and that is just going to get layered on top of the card. And then I have a piece of Pool Party. This measures three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then the basic white, that's what it is. It is basic white. This measures three by four. So those two pieces layer together. And that's what we're going to do the stamping on. 
and then I have another piece of pool party that is two and three fourths inch square and that means our basic white piece is going to be a two and a half inch square and that all gets layered. So it's a super simple and easy card um, and to totally duplicatable. I just wanted to try a few different punches. So let's start by stamping our sentiment. I am just gonna put this pool party up here just for kind of measurement purposes. And I'm gonna bring in the Night and Navy ink and I'm going to ink up the hip hip. I'm only stamping first just in case I get a halo or it's cattywampus or something that we can flip it over and use the other side. That's why there's always two sides to each piece of paper. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I don't think I need to flip it over, so let's just start layering our pieces. So I'm gonna start with the two and a half inch square um, basic white. Put some adhesive on the back of it. And we're gonna attach this. Perfect. And then I wanna grab some mini glue dots and a piece of ribbon. Since this guy is so tiny, I'm just going to trim that off so I don't have the whole bolt flying on the floor, touching my leg. <laughs> if you just logged on and you didn't hear me in the beginning, I found a bug in my craft room, and now that every time something touches my leg, I literally fly out of my chair. It is definitely not a good feeling to have. At least it was a bug and not a sneak, so I should count my blessings. Okay, so there is that. Let's bring this in and layer it together. Put some adhesive on the back. I don't know if this has ever happened to you guys, but I was working a couple days ago in here and my glue got stuck and I was squeezing and squeezing and squeezing and then all of it came out on my project and I was so irritated. Yeah, I was not a happy camper. So there's that piece. So let's bring in some basic, or um, night and navy. And let's bring in um, the daisy punch, the mini daisy punch. So I am gonna punch two of these. Actually, let's live on the edge a little bit and I'm gonna grab we're gonna make two cards. I'm gonna grab the center of the other card so they can be, I should have thought of that before I glued it all together. But let's see how this one is going to look. So if we put the pool party and then the night and navy, that looks really cute. Actually, with our bow on the top, I think I like that. So if you don't have these punches, but you do have some of the dyes, um, any flower dye, I actually think really anything would look super cute in this design. So I'm gonna put a mini glue dot on the back and I'm just going to kind of offset that a little bit, flip it over, and I don't know if a big dimensional is gonna fit. Oh yeah, it will. Put a dimensional in there. Good evening, Tracy. And I did get your text, but I was getting ready to go live, so I didn't respond. So I'm gonna put that um, daisy in the center. And let's attach our bow. And then let's put this together. And I don't know if I have any gems or anything over here, but I think a gem might look pretty in the center. Even though I am not the biggest fan of putting a gem on here since I used a dimensional, but I think this one calls for it. And it's perfect. There's one left in my gems, one big one. So I think that is going to go right in the center. There we go. So now we can just put all of our cards together. Oh, it never notified you? That's frustrating. It, in the beginning, it did take a while for um, the Facebook Live to connect to my watch and my iPad, so there must have been a glitch or something in it. So there's that. And then all we're going to do is put this in the center. Okay, this is definitely... I was really kind of skeptical in the beginning 
but I really, really like it. So simple, yet so elegant. So, I never, ever, like ever, stamp on the inside. And I probably should have did this first in case I messed up, we could have flipped it over. Oh, this little Natalie, what is she doing FaceTiming me knowing that I'm on my live? Don't know what I'm gonna do with that child. So I'm gonna do the hooray on the inside. Oh, it works. Yay! So we have the outside hip hip and then hooray on the inside. So I really like this. So let's do another one and we're going to do um, the dragonfly. So we're gonna do all the same things. I'll just quickly go through this. Oh, since I punched that out, we want to be super careful and just put adhesive on the outside layers or the outside edges. Otherwise, we're gonna stick this down to our work surface. I've only done that a million times. So I'm gonna set that to dry. Actually, I'm gonna put this on top of here so I can stamp. Just so I know which way how far up and down and in the center I need to go. So let's grab the hip hip. Ink this up. And I use, I just use night and navy. Um, just I wanted it to pop. Perfect. I'll leave that open, but push it to the side. And then we'll glue these together. I hope I did change, um, now that I'm thinking about it, before I went live, the size of the designer series paper that we're using. So the one I, if I didn't change it, it is four by five and a quarter. Fold our cardstock, give that a good crease. And let's go ahead and layer this piece down. There we go. Perfect. And let's tie or wrap our ribbon around so I don't forget and I accidentally glue it together without the ribbon. I'm just going to kind of measure this. There we go. I'm going to put a mini glue dot on each end. this around. Everybody got a bolt of this at the July retreat. I have been using it so much. I hope you guys have been too. Everybody who got the full bolts. It is spectacular. It really works with any color that you're working with because it's so translucent and clear and it just kind of pulls in all the colors. this piece. I should have made more cards so we could put different ones together. There we go. And then let's grab the dragonfly. And hopefully I brought a big enough scrap. I did. Okay, good. So there's that. And I didn't get the little inside or the little tiny dragonfly. I was just going to see if I have a piece of scrap base of white beside me, and I do. And I might do him in white. We don't know. We're going to play with this one, because I haven't made this using the dragonfly. We're going to do a couple. So let's see. I kind of like it. Well, maybe not the white. Maybe the white up top. Let's do another blue. I think we need another night and navy one. But we have so many punches, you could literally be so creative with this design. Let's put our bow on first, just so we know where to put the little dragonflies. Do you guys like the dragonfly or should I stick with the Scotty dog or I say let's just go with it. I like all of them. Put a couple dimensionals on there. And I think 
I do like him a little sideways. Let's scoot him down a little bit so I can put uh, one of the minis on there as well. And the little mini dimensionals fit perfectly on this guy. Okay, I think I am going to use this other one. Thank you, Jill. It is such a fun little card. I don't know which way do we want the dragonfly. I don't think it matters. And I don't know, do gems go on the inside of um, a dragonfly? But I think it might need just a few little sprinkles of gems on this one. They all actually might need it. Um, I think it's good. I don't even want to stop there. I don't want to overdo it. And then let's do the inside. I never do the inside of cards. So when I thought of this, I was like, oh, that is perfect. So I got ink on the edge. Let's hope that I don't get a little halo. So to prevent getting halos, you're going to just set it down. You don't want to rock it back and forth. Oh, I didn't press quite hard enough. But that's okay. I don't think anybody's going to notice. But let me show you. So I'm going to ink up my hooray again. Now, if you press really hard and kind of rock back and forth, you're going to get that halo. And it, I mean, it's totally fine if you do. You don't have to redo your card, but it's because you are putting too much pressure. You literally just need to stamp the ink pad, tap it, and pull it up, and you won't get halos. So let me show you again. So if you push really, really hard, rock back and forth, you're going to get a halo. So... Another little tip that I taught you guys tonight, if you already didn't know that. Okay, let me get all of this out of the way so I can bring the cards in. Let me put the lid on my glue because that's what happened last time. I didn't put the lid on and then it got stuck and then I was squeezing so hard it flew everywhere. Okay, so here are your cards. They are super simple, um, few cutting measurements, but everything is a quarter of an inch smaller except this little guy, it's a little bit smaller. But I really liked the design and the kind of concept behind doing a little frame. And it kind of reminds me of those photographs, um, the pictures that we used to have, our parents would take them. I forget the name of the photos, but it kind of looked like this with the white edge across the bottom. Maybe somebody will remind me what that is called. But those are your cards for tonight. Um, it was a very quick and fast Facebook Live, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You're so welcome, Kelly. Glad you could join. Um, can't wait to see the fall. Today's the first. Oh, it is the first day of fall. I did not know that. It does not feel like fall here. <laughs> not by any way, shape, or form does it feel like fall in Arizona. Hopefully in the other parts of the country it does, but not here. Um, anyways, I do have two class or two spots available for Saturday's card class. So if you're available, definitely send me a message. I will put your name down. If not, if I don't see you on Saturday, I will definitely see you on Tuesday for another live. We'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good night. Bye-bye.